Hey guys, what is going on? It's Brycat23 here with Xtrades. Today we're going to go over a setup that I really like for both tomorrow and into this coming week, and that is Fastly. So the ticker is FSLY. Really what we have is, is just a nice consolidation phase on the one hour chart. We have multiple touches of resistance and multiple touches of support. So we have a, a well-established trend line support and resistance on this time frame. All of the rejections and, and rebounds are evenly spaced out. So there's been a good flow of price throughout the pattern. It's, it's a very full pattern, which is always nice to see. Uh, that can help you identify patterns a little more accurately and keep you from misreading a pattern when it could be something else potentially. So ultimately, what we have is, is really just kind of, it looks like it's more of a symmetrical triangle because we do have these converging trend lines, but it, it looks a little more bullish to me, again, judging by the steeper rising support line versus uh, the less steep resistance line, essentially. So I think that the buyers have a little more relative strength to the sellers in this case. And I also think that the trend leading into the pattern being that it was a, a nice uptrend, regardless is gonna give you kind of a, a bullish bias going into things because whether it's a symmetrical triangle or a rising triangle, triangles are typically continuation plays. So since we have that uptrend on, on good volume that leads into this triangle pattern, you're typically gonna be looking for a continuation of the previous trend. And so that's kind of a, a, a double check to make sure that even if we do think that this could be, you know, a normal symmetrical triangle, potentially, we do have that strong uptrend, which can help kind of confirm our more bullish bias, taking a look at this, uh, taking a look at this ticker. Um, on top of the healthy uptrend, we also had a really nice crossover of the 50 day uh, simple moving average. So it's also really nice to have dynamic support zones below price uh, once you're kind of in one of these consolidation phases. So as you can see, there's been a little sensitivity uh, to price even within this trading pattern of this 50 day simple moving average. Uh, as you can see, we consolidated uh, both kind of above this 50 day simple moving average and below it uh, recently over the last several trading sessions uh, and are now trading above it nicely. But this area could act as a support zone if prices do end up rejecting for you know a fourth time since we just rejected uh, earlier uh, earlier this week. But um, but at any rate, this dynamic support zone could kind of help us if we end up rejecting this price level again and the markets kind of falter uh, tomorrow or into next week. So. That's an area where we could have some dynamic support and then we obviously still have trend line support below that. But I am really kind of hoping for a breakout uh, in the next day or two, really. I think, that we, I think that we've touched support enough times. I think that we've touched resistance enough time where the sellers are likely getting a little bit exhausted and, and there are likely more buyers present at this point. And I think that we'll know for sure once we get above this 57 seven level essentially. So this is an area where there has been a good amount of selling as you can see. We, we had most of our opens and, and closes essentially finished uh, right below this 57 seven level uh, on this second touch of resistance. And this is where we kind of had the beginning of the gap that formed after the earnings event. So this is definitely like a, a sensitive price level and it's converging with our trend line resistance. So once we get above that, once we get above both our trend line resistance and that 57.7 price level, I think that we're definitely gonna see a nice move and we'll definitely see some more volume flow in as well. So I think that there's potential for a strong move in price once we get above that price level. And then ideally, if there is like a low volume retest, 
uh, that 57.7 price level should begin to act as a support as long as it breaks out with healthy volume. So ultimately, really nice setup. Uh, we got dynamic support zone below. Uh, if we need it, we also have a trend line support. We have a really nice uptrend that led into this. We've already kind of gap filled essentially, but, uh, but getting above this 57.7 price level is going to be huge. And then as far as the actual expectations go, if we do get the breakout and the desired direction, the height of this triangle is right around $7. We're talking about 59 to around 52. So that's about a $7 height from the first touch of uh, resistance to the first touch of support. And uh, percentage meeting price target for these is usually around 70%. Uh, I'm identifying it as a rising triangle just because, again, I think it does have a little more of a bullish connotation to it based on the slopes of the two uh, trend lines here. So I am giving it the benefit of the doubt in that case. Uh, so that's where I'm getting that 70% from. So that puts our expected move right around $5. Um, and the trend line breakout area is right around this 57.5, 57.6 price level. So that really puts us at a price target based on both the height and the percentage meeting price target of about 62.50. And, and really, I, I'd like to target 62 as kind of the full, fully blown price target. Again, you could try and try and go a little extra and go for that full uh, $5 move and the 62.5. But essentially, once we once we do break out, if the breakout does occur, we're going to have a low resistance at this 59 price level, as you can see, where we've had a lot of selling in the past at that first touch of the triangle uh, resistance. Um, and you can see there was some consolidation here. So there's definitely going to be uh, that was kind of a higher volume node on the uh, hourly chart. So that's an area that, again, could prove to be a sticky price level. But once we get above that, the next area we really do have to watch out for is the 62 price level because that's where price is consolidated briefly and then gap down. And then when they tried to make a recovery before earnings, they really rejected this level pretty, pretty harshly. So that's where I kind of have my expectations as 62, 62.2, really having that be the full price target and not trying to grind out a couple extra cents unnecessarily uh, where we could see a decent rejection of this price level, even if we do get that, do get that bullish breakout uh, that we want. So ultimately, I really like the setup here. I think that it's a really strong setup. Uh, and hopefully, obviously, it depends on when it does break out. But judging by the trend, I'd say that it could take you know, anywhere from three to four weeks for this trend to run the course um, in terms of reaching our price target. Uh, I think that that would be like the tail end. It could definitely happen in a few days if there's enough uh, bullish sentiment and there's enough volume. But I think on the outside end, in terms of reaching this 62 price level or the 62.5 price level, we'd really be looking at, you know, three or four weeks on the outside time frame. Uh, for trying to reach this full price target. But it's a really nice setup overall. And again, I would really just keep an eye out for this key 57.7 price level. And once we do break above that, I would be bullish above that. And that would kind of be a stop loss once we are able to break above that price level. Um, so if prices drop back below that, then that likely means that there's some good selling pressure. Um, and that the trend is likely invalidated in the near term. So definitely keep an eye as that's kind of the main area of resistance. And if we do break out, that is the main area of support and should be a stop loss uh, if you do look to enter a, a trade similar to this one. But ultimately, really good setup overall. Um, and I think it's a pretty high probability trade uh, if you go in once we do get the confirmed breakout. Um, and I also think that it's a high, high risk to reward trade if you enter the trade properly. And, uh, and I think that there's obviously a, a good distance for this ticker to run. Uh, obviously, you know, a, a $5 move right around uh, this 57 price level, 
you're talking about, you know, an eight or 9% move uh, in the underlying stock price, which is definitely a strong move in the underlying. So it's a good setup and it's a good move. And, uh, and I'm excited to see what it does both tomorrow, hopefully, and, and even early into next week. So keep an eye on FSLY. And if you guys have any questions below, please feel free to comment um, or just reach out to me in the chat. So thank you guys so much for joining. And I hope you have a great day. Thanks so much. Bye.